moving forward. Hi guys, my name is Jay Parrish with Coldwell Banker Elite. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how you can set up automatic listings in Moxie Engage. Very similar to how you would set up listings um, in Bright MLS or any MLS that you're familiar with. But the cool thing about this is that when they are searching for the homes, when they get the email of the new listings that have come on, they will now be searching on your website with your branding, uh, links for them to be able to lead to your content, your blogs, just really keeping them in your spot as opposed to them finding a home on Zillow or Realtor.com. It is a way to be able to get people searching and staying, remembering your name, remembering your face, so that when it comes time for them to actually buy or request a showing, that they're on your site looking for that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. We're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, the MoxieWorks homepage, and I'll show you guys how to get started. So this is what the MoxieWorks homepage looks like, and you have all your different um, Moxie items up here at the top. Today we're gonna to be working in Engage. So we're gonna click on Engage, now that we're in Engage, we're going to want to decide who we want to set these auto listings up for. So you're going to want to find a client. There's multiple ways for you to do that. You can go to the People Overview or My People. You can go up here to the top right, which I like doing. I'm just going to do this for myself. I always recommend actually setting up a client under your name so that you can test and try everything out to make sure you like how it looks for, for your business and it's something that you want to send out to your clients. So once we're in um, the client here, you have all the variety of activities, tasks that you have coming up for them. I really love the activity tab that you can go into and see what's going on with them. But we're gonna go down to faves and saves. This is where we're gonna set up their um, auto search. So you see right now we have a zero save set up. So we're just gonna click on this blue button to create search. And as soon as the search is popped up, you're going to choose the criteria for the person that you're looking for. So let's say we know that they're looking specifically in 22407. So we can pull that up here and we have 50 listings that are available. Now we can get very specific with this. We can go into the price range and we can make it a minimum of 450 to a max of 600 and hit apply. Now it's going to cut us down from 50 to 15 listings. So we have that set here. We can get more specific and go with bedrooms and bathrooms. I'm just going to be very simple here with three plus and two plus and apply. That shouldn't change it too much. You can also go into even more filters. You can go specifically for single family homes um, if they don't want condos or townhouses. So we can go ahead and uncheck those. You can get very detailed on the acreage, the year built, uh, whether it's waterfront, um, a lot of different items in here for you to um, zero in on that focus for them. So we're gonna hit apply. And a couple other ways to show it, like you might be familiar doing the MLS, you can get into the map here and actually, you know, draw in an area that you want to look in. Or one thing that's really cool, and I'll show you that, I'll show you the couple different ways. So you could do a radius. So we can just take here, um, and go out like that. So we could do that radius, run search, because it's gonna give us a few more listings, it's gonna give us 24. You can draw your radius, you can do a quick draw or a multi-draw. Multi-draw is probably what you're familiar with on the MLS, where we just go around a section like this. Okay, so we have 28 listings there. Or we can do a quick draw, which is just literally just you hold down the mouse and you draw it out. So three very simple ways to get a specific search area for you. This one is really cool though. A lot of times our clients are looking for specific schools that they want their um, kids to be in. So you have the ability, if they say they want to be in a specific school district, we can go here to public schools. Now, once the schools start to populate, you're gonna see little icons of a little graduation cap. So you just go and hover over top of that. So let's say they specifically wanna stay in the Courthouse Road Elementary School District. So we're gonna hover over school boundaries. If you do district boundaries, that would be the county that the schools are in. So we're gonna to go to school boundaries. And you're gonna see it's gonna cut out just specifically for that school, which in this case narrows us down to one exact listing. But that might be all right because that is the school that they want their kids to go to. 
you know, we can't tell them what school, but if they tell us that, then we can get very specific with the search. So let's go ahead and leave it on that. This is one to send to them. You're gonna then go down here and click on email settings. You can name this, um, this one specifically going to be uh, courthouse elementary homes for sale. And remember it has the other criteria in there too, the price points, the bedrooms, all that is now combined in here. And then you can select the, you can make a little note, whatever you wanna email them. I would, you know, be specific and give them some details about what you had talked about in your phone conversation or what they asked you to look up. And then you can choose the frequency. So most people like once per day. But, you know, if you are really in the heat of it and they're looking for it, a lot of people like that hourly. It doesn't mean they're going to get an email every hour. It means that it's going to check the system every hour. And if there's anything new or any changes, they're going to get an updated email for that. So you could have it checked, send no new listings. That would make it send it to them every single hour. And then, um, then that's all set up. So you can save this to for your person, the J Parish buyer, as an area of interest. And then you're going to hit save and send. And that's all you have to do. Now, underneath your client, you're going to have um, right in here. It's going to show you the save search that they had, and then that's going to go out to them. They're going to get an email that shows that information and then they'll get updated emails. And when they're in there searching for homes, they're going to see you as their agent. And that is going to be really beneficial for you. So when they go to request a showing or ask for more information or favorite that home, um, you are going to be able to see their favorites right here in this section. And you will be able to also, when they request a showing, you're going to get an email letting you know your client has reached out to you for that. So I hope this really helps. This is a way to keep the clients under your umbrella, essentially. You know, your website is where you want them to be all the time. When you add a blog in there, they're gonna be able to see that. Or maybe people uh, go from your blog to searching for homes, or they're on here searching for homes and they start digging around and learning more about the home buying process from you. And they start feeling more and more comfortable with you as their local expert to help them find homes. Hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you guys next time.